Hello and welcome to Bite Size Tech. I'm your host, Rogue, and today a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. Tech has more information and a special sign up offer at the end of this video. We have an upgrade question regarding CPUs versus GPUs. Uh, Black Caesar asks, he has a Ryzen 5 2600 and a 1070 Ti. He doesn't plan on upgrading the GPU until the current madness is over. Good luck with that. Uh, but he wants to know if it still makes sense to jump to the Ryzen 5 Zen 3 5600X. Probably not. And I said the reason probably not, th there's a couple of things. First of all, we don't have enough information to give you definitive because what resolution do you play at? What uh, motherboard do you have? Yep. How much RAM do you have? Those are all modifiers that affect the overall value of the upgrade. If your 2600 is on a B350, forget it. You'd have to replace your motherboard. That would be a disaster. If it's on a B450, It'll probably work. It'll probably work. Those are much better. It's some, I still don't recommend it, but okay, fair enough. If by some weird chance you have an X570, which is technically possible, but weird, then sure, you could do it. The bigger issue is this GTX 1070 Ti. Now, if he had said he had a 2070 Super, mm. I might feel differently. That's true. But if he's but, not planning on upgrading the GPU, why even upgrade anything? His current CPU should not be holding back his 1070 Ti much at all. The only circumstances where it might hold him back is if he's playing 1080p low detail for maximum frame rate in competitive esports games. In that case, his 1070 Ti could produce more frames than his 2060 can deliver to it. In other words, he's being CPU bottlenecked. If he's doing 1080p low in CSGO, then his CPU is the limitation. Mm -hmm. However, if he's playing normal detail, normal games on a 1440p 60 hertz monitor, he wouldn't get much out of a CPU upgrade. Now, a 5600X would, Windows would launch faster, games would load faster, they would update faster. I mean, his system would be more responsive, it would be an upgrade, but then he would be very much held back by his 1070 Ti. I would very much be inclined to just keep it. And when AM5 comes out and Zen 5 or Zen 4 comes out, just build a new machine and replace everything. And that's very different than the other answer we gave on a previous one of these to somebody who had a 2700 asking about going to Zen 3. Correct. Because that guy had an RX 6800 XT graphics card, and this gentleman, Black Caesar, has a 1070 70. Ti. And with a 6800 XT, the answer was yes, absolutely. You are in desperate need of a CPU upgrade because your 2700 is holding it back. But in this case... So in this case, you're saying hold... Because of the graphics card. And then upgrade the whole thing. And also, if I had a 2600, I would be strongly tempted to say if you're going to go up, go wider as well. I mean, if you've got the extra 100 bucks, do a 5800X because... It is a good upgrade just to go to a 5600X, but for, I mean, 100 bucks, you can't glue on the two cores in a year. And because he's got the 570, there's no point going the Zen 2, the 3900X. That's the previous guy. Black Caesar didn't oh, say his didn't motherboard. Oh, he did say his motherboard. That's yeah, true. whenever you ask these questions, the more detail you provide, uh, what resolution are you playing? What motherboard do you have? How much RAM do you have? Those are modifiers that determine whether an upgrade, are you getting your money's worth out of an upgrade? Because he could stick a 3900X on there, but you don't know what motherboard he's got. And if he sticks a 3900X in there, and he has 16 gigs of RAM, and he's got, you know, an old SATA DRAMless hard drive, or SSD, Right, but the point is then it's just wasted. Yeah, exactly. But if he has 32 gigs of RAM and a nice NVMe drive and a nice 500 series motherboard, then Bob's your uncle. Go for it. Exactly. Except then his 1070 Ti is kind of... It's like... <laughs> it's like... 
And I'm not knocking the 1070. The 1070 Ti is a great video card. Well, no, I think a lot of people make upgrades to their CPU, don't realize how important their GPU is, and then vice versa. Upgrade their GPU, and then their CPU is like... If you build a balanced system, then in general, the whole thing needs replacing when it's time to upgrade. Because if you replace your CPU, you need a GPU upgrade. If you upgrade your GPU, your CPU might need an upgrade. And then your RAM, and then your storage, and then your... And then you're you in a whole build, new build a new computer. There are exceptions to that, of course. I mean, you know, we've done upgrades on the channel before, but... Hopefully, Black Caesar, that helps you out, man. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cash back that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no sign-up fee, no credit checks, no interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money anywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. You heard me right. Use your new Crypto Visa card to pay for your subscriptions and get 100% back in rewards. Earning 8% on your new Visa card is awesome, but how would you like to earn up to 14% interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating to feel like your money is just parked. Yes, you really can earn up to 14% annual interest on your crypto, paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum, and so on. Flexible terms are offered, including zero lock, so you can withdraw your crypto anytime you like without restrictions, or you can hold for one or three month terms for a higher rate of return. Of course, you can buy, sell, and exchange 100 plus cryptocurrencies with 20 plus fiat currencies using bank transfers or your credit and debit card at true cost. Crypto.com is first and foremost a crypto exchange. There is so much more to explore, I have barely scratched the surface. DeFi features including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, crypto pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and you earn up to 10% back in rewards, and that's not even everything they have to offer. If you're looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link in the video description below to sign up today, you'll get a $25 crypto sign up bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and it gets you a great offer to get started in the world of crypto.